Okay, great. Uh, welcome everyone to the Bajin DI Bajin meeting. Um, let me share my screen. Just one minute. Trying to get a monitor to work. Okay. So um, I'm sharing the wrong thing. Um, sorry. Um, can everyone see my screen yet? Or what can you see? We can see it. It's a little small is all. The text is a little small, but we can see it. Can you see the Slack or the meeting minutes? Oh, uh, we saw the meeting minutes. Okay. Um, let me increase the text quickly. I don't know. I can increase it then. How is it now? Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> okay, great. Um, so if you have not put your name in the agenda, please do. And let us know how you're feeling today. So the normal um, way we do it is we, you know, see how you're feeling and you pass it to the next person. So I'm going to start and then I'll pass it on and then everybody can go. And if you also have notes, um, please, you can add it to the meeting minutes. Okay, so uh, for me, I'm feeling a bit tired, so <laughs> always feeling tired these days. But yeah, um, that's how I'm feeling today. Um, Sean, how are you feeling? I'm feeling alive. <clears throat> no Pearl Jam going through my head. I'm still alive. Okay, Sean. I think you have to pass the next person. Uh, Elizabeth. I am also alive and here <laughs> with my coffee. I, it's my own fault because I stayed up too late last night playing video games. So I have no one to blame but myself at all. But you know, I, you would think as an adult, I would learn my lesson that I can't do that, but no, sadly, no. Um, Katie, how are you doing today? I didn't learn my lesson either. I stayed up way too late and I'm drinking coffee as well. Oh, I, I was packing last night and re-dyeing my hair. I'm going on a trip in the middle of the night tonight. I've early early flight to nebraska awesome so i'm not sure if i'm meeting up with georg or matt this time but or oh wait matt's not there this time anymore okay i don't know if i'm meeting up with georg <clears throat> yeah, i think matt's in colorado next week but he's i think he's in omaha this week so if you're leaving Is early in the morning he might be there friday oh i'll see if i can catch him then because no. yeah i usually try to um, meet up with them when I'm up visiting Lincoln. Yeah. Um, who has not, Matt, have you gone? I think Matt mentioned, um they would put their camera, um, their um, mic off. So, I don't know. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. I'm not gone yet. <clears throat> can everyone hear me? Yep. We can. Okay. Uh, my name is Lami. Uh, I feel well rested. I had a nap, just woke up. So, quite good. Great. Naps are good. I think I'll have one after this meeting. <laughs> um, Kinsley, have you gone? Okay, hi everyone. So uh, this is actually, I think, my first official um joining this. But I'm good. I'm fine. Okay, welcome, Kinsley. Thank you. So um, we are looking for a next facility. 
meeting. It happens bi-weekly. So does anyone want to take it up? I can do it if nobody wants to, but I'm happy to give someone else the opportunity to do that. Okay. Uh, so go in and go on this bit. Um, okay, so I think we have a very short agenda. If you have any items you want to discuss, please, you can put it in the agenda. For the first item, we have the Biogen website um, design updates. The last meeting, we kind of talked about um, <clears throat> the content page um, for the Bajin website. Um, so um, Kingsley, which designer that has been uh, working on it, has put together a landing page first. So I'm going to, it's on this link. So let me just go to it. Uh, so would love feedback from the, it's still loading, sorry. But would love um, feedback, okay, yeah, I don't know. Um, no, I'm still. Can everyone see it quite good? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Okay. So this is the um. This is the landing page, like the home page. Um, and yeah. So this we talk about having four extra pages, but this is the first page, which is the landing page um and it has like different sections one section you kind of like summarize oh do i let let me let kinsley explain this <laughs> sorry kinsley can go ahead please okay um thank you Bruce. okay the idea is of course i think we've actually discussed this before so to take the old uh, budging process from <clears throat> GitHub and have a separate website for it so um other pages are still of course this is still in progress but for now what we have the chaos di badging so the heroes um, banner there is of course just a summary of um, the badging process and all so from there the user can either click on apply for badging which is simply what the user is here for or maybe check previous events you know that's been you know batched and all that of course then the event badging and of course the level so we feel like these are the primary um, information the user needs to probably maybe make decision to proceed with badging and all that so we didn't really think of adding so much but then um just like um either illustrations or image that complement the 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 message we have i think that's just um few of the things i'll add to make this a little bit more colorful and pop so um, besides that, I think other pages, but maybe in other, uh, maybe in subsequent meetings, we'll talk about it. What we have, okay, these are just um, uh, wireframes. Yeah, so we have the uh, about event badging and all that. So um, we are still discussing if we are really gonna have an, you know, a slider. And we also have um, the, since the project um, badging is still in the pipeline. So I think that will be like a coming soon you know, on the website, just of course, and that to use as, of course, then frequently asked questions. And also, um, maybe in the cost of um, the whole process and all, we probably get, you know, users or, you know, people that have, of course, you know, batched the events using GitHub to maybe test the website and see the conversion and also we can still optimize on what we have. But for now, I'll really welcome any feedback, you know, we have, like I said, it's still in progress. We have a more optimized version of this in maybe uh, before our next call. I think it's awesome. And I think that the work you're doing is amazing. Like that's fantastic. So thank you for all your hard work on this. It's great. It's wonderful. Thank Thank you, Elizabeth. And were we thinking this would be um, a subdomain then of the chaos site, like badging.chaos.community or something like that? 
yeah, it's going to be a subdomain to the chaos website. So, okay. Yeah. So, no, in order not to confuse users, it is not separate from the chaos. Yeah. Perfect. Got you. And then, Sean, that's cool to, you you can set that up with like Green Geeks hosting stuff, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. We just need a sub. I think we have to get um, the LF to create a subdomain if we're going to use that. Oh, or okay. What domain are okay. we putting this on? Badging.chaos.community. Yeah, we just um, we need to open a ticket to create a subdomain. Um, okay. And I'm trying to. Brian Warner was our contact, and he he's moved on from the LF. So. Yeah, they might. So when I was doing something else with the LF, they just sent me to that form. There's just a form you fill out that requests yeah. support. So maybe they'll. Maybe we don't need a specific person. Yeah, if there's a form um, yeah. and you know where it is, you could send it to me and I could fill it out or you could. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, put like some, I'll put that in the minutes so I don't forget to do that. Um, yeah, I yeah. think that LF is just getting like bombarded with requests from their projects now. So they just have a form. <laughs> it's like a ticket that you fill out and they take yeah. care of it. Okay. okay. I had one one other question too about the application. Were we still thinking we would do the do the the GitHub issue form for people to apply, or are we thinking we'll have a separate page for people to apply that will kind of be like what we're doing now? I'm just curious what um, people's thoughts are on that. Oh, um, Ruth, can I can I answer that? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just in case I don't get it, maybe Rose will explain. So the idea is that uh, everything is going to be done on the website, so we won't necessarily need the GitHub uh, page anymore. So the application will be done um, uh, on this website. <coughs> yeah, that that's okay. uh, that was one of the because I think last meeting. Um, not kind of give us some updates about this as well using the badging bot to, uh, to also facilitate that process um i think the, the issue i raised one time was um having at least giving applicants the option to either use um, github or uh, maybe google or like yeah, Gmail to sign in instead of like restricting applicants to just pick up. Sometimes I was reviewing an event, but applicant um, GitHub uh, username was kind of like very new. So just obvious that um, the applicants kind of feel signed in for GitHub because of that application. So we might want to give people options if they are not on GitHub to also apply and not give them that um that must always sign in people but um that's that's uh i don't know how that would look like uh because it might it might begin to confuse people but maybe you know what i'm explaining uh like that. But maybe there will be a way but for now i think it, we can have a form on this page like um maybe <coughs> apply for a badge it also brings up that form here the page for a form maybe a better look for a form too i don't know if that makes sense it's, yeah it does it does make sense um it'll just be a, like we'll just have to think through logistically how that will open an issue um i know um like do, does enoch know that we want to add that part to the ba badging bot or I think enough. Let me see. Because when I when I chatted with him yesterday, I did not. Um, we did not like. I don't know that that's on his radar. Um, but we. I, I'll, I'll double check with him, and just make sure. Because I don't know that. Like I don't know what would be involved in doing that. Um, and I know that the process now is a little cumbersome for applicants, even though the page they fill out is a little easier, like the back end 
part is is a little cumbersome so that's why we were thinking about just doing the github issue form because then it just goes right into an issue um so okay i'll, I'll double check with Tina just to make sure that that he knows that that's something that we would like the bot to do <laughs> yeah we could just have a page maybe uh, for the meantime we design we could have like just that page back of it um to the different fields uh for badging like just the way it is on the website i think oh, better better look uh can um does anyone have like any other questions or feedback or design as is now in the progress So I think we'll keep working on this and give more feedback next week then. Uh, so the next item is, um, I think I briefed Elizabeth on this. Uh, we, in the last meeting, we talked about the um, social media toolkit and, you know, tweeting out um, and using LinkedIn as well send out messages across to, um, for chaos um, badging. And Anita had put together um, <coughs> yeah. um, So I think um, Elizabeth was going to talk about the tweet deck thing and how we want to make um, the process more collaborative. Yeah, I was just thinking that it might be beneficial for us to have um, one of those apps that does let us schedule and have more than one person um, in, uh, adding their tweets and their information. Um, that So that way we could dump a bunch of tweets in the, the pipeline and then have it schedule like one a day or something. So, so, so that like me or somebody else doesn't have to be sitting at the computer every day, like, oh, what am I going to tweet today? <laughs> so, um, but I like that like regular <clears throat> cadence because we're not very regular right now. It's kind of like, oh, hey, here's this random thing. So, um, but my question, I guess, is what would be the best way to do that? Like, I know there are a few options, TweetDeck or Hootsuite or some of those. And also, and maybe Sean, you can answer this. If there's a cost to that, is that something that chaos can afford to do? I don't think yeah. it's very much. Yeah, if there's a um, cost, we can pay it. My previous use of TweetDeck, I don't think it required me to use any money, but there could be okay. a, there could be an advanced version that we prefer that takes a small subscription fee. But yeah, those, yeah, those kinds of things, either Matt and I can expense through as we discover them. Okay. I mean, they're, they're usually less than a. I mean, most of, often they're even less than a hundred dollars, and almost always less than three hundred. So, yeah. and I haven't honestly used those kind of apps for literally about ten years when I uh, was doing a lot of Twitter work um, yeah. for a company. So um, I I don't know what the best solution is. If people have uh, ideas or someone wants to research it, like I, it's totally fine. TweetDeck is what um, Georg and I had been using because it allows you to have more than one Twitter account that you're logged into at the same time. Yeah. And okay. monitoring. Um, you have to, of course, be careful then about which account you tweet from. Uh -huh. um, which account? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it, it it didn't cost it doesn't cost anything to set up. The, I would say the user interface just takes a little bit of uh, account. I don't know. It takes a little time to get used to. Because mm -hmm. um, it's not, in my opinion, it's not 100% intuitive. Like, you're like the awareness of which account am I tweeting from requires you to be like looking for a little icon in a okay. tweet. You know, there's little, but it's it's not hard. It's just you know the first time you use it, be aware. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, so, um, do can... we want? to then maybe bring this up at the community meeting and just say, hey, look, we want to use TweetDeck. 
um, so that we can spread these tweets out for badging and for other things. So we're gonna do that. Is that I mean, cool? We're we're already using TweetDeck. Yeah. Okay. Should we have like a like a social media team that like somebody kind of opts in to be on this team, and that way they have access to everything. I don't know. Or like, how uh, do we manage? Like, who is doing <coughs> what? I mean, I think you know we've historically uh, kept the Twitter account stuff to people we know are going to tweet stuff that we want to be tweeted. So I mean, they're generally they've been folks like Georg, um, yourself, who have some awareness that chaos is a sort of a brand identity. So we're not treating tweeting like random crap or retweeting things that have nothing to do with our purpose. Right. Um, so we haven't opened it up real wide or written any formal guidelines. Um, we've just constrained it to people we rec you know, people who we're confident know yeah. how to tweet, um, which sounds stupid, but <laughs> no, you know. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah, that makes that makes sense, I think. Um, so I don't know if there's like just a an onboarding page that we need to create to provide explicit guidelines so that we can expand the number of people who can do this or I don't know the right way to approach it. <clears throat> yeah, Ruth, but did you all have thoughts on this when you were creating this? Um, Anita, did you create this? Do you have thoughts on this? Yeah, well, I think it's be good to like um, delegates one or two persons that can actually um, handle the accounts. I don't know how many persons are in charge of it right now, but like TikTok is actually a good option because it allows more than one person to actually access it. So due to the time difference, you get tweets from different angles as well. And um, yes, yeah, just like Elizabeth said, we also get diverse ideas so you don't have to wait to get content to go. I think I, I also I agree with that. We can also keep like a spreadsheet um, of the content too, um, to help like the two persons that would have like that access to know what to put out and know what to schedule to so we don't have to be um, having access to the bigger account. Katie, I know you've done some work um, with some social media stuff. Do you have thoughts on like managing who has access to um, to the account or like onboarding docs for people who you know we want to include? Um, I would. Well, if you have an account, you can have. Depending how Twitter is set. I'm not as familiar with Twitter, but other social media accounts that we use, like Facebook, <clears throat> when we've done things. Um, I don't know if Twitter can have like a, a um, like the company profile and then have admins that have access to the company profile. I don't know if Twitter does that or not, but for on a security perspective, we always wanted that. We never wanted to give one person or like four people access to the same account because then you don't know who, if you go to figure out what issue happened or if somebody sends out an appropriate tweet, you don't know who did it. Yeah, there's permission. Yeah, that's, you're right. There are, now you're refreshing my memory. I don't use, I was given some kind of permissions to tweet from the chaos project twitter that goes under things like that falls in that sock 2 compliance category i don't okay. know how much we think about that on the the side of things but so shop for, for tweet deck <clears throat> or whoever has used tweet deck is there like a tweet deck account or do i like install TweetDeck on my computer with my account, and then I just add in the the Chaos Twitter as one of my. Can I share my Can I share my screen real quick? I have yeah. TweetDeck up. 
let me let me make sure. Uh, let's see. All right. So forgive the political stuff under my home account. So there's a couple things to point out. One is accounts you can act as. So I have this account Augur Labs and I have the account Chaos Project. And there's a team at Chaos Project that um, gets managed. And these are the people who are part of that team. Um, and it looks like it's Georg, myself, Jesus. I'm assuming Elizabeth, you probably just log into the account, but you can yeah, add. I do. If you have a Twitter account, like I don't know what your actual Twitter account might be. Elizabeth N. Clever. All right. And then I click authorize. And so somewhere in the Twitterverse, you'll get a message and you would accept that. Okay. And I would make, I'd probably make you an admin. And you're doing this through TweetDeck yeah. itself. Not yeah, through, oh. I am on TweetDeck, yes. Okay, well, okay, okay. Like okay. this took me, this took me an absurdly long amount of time to figure out how to set up. Like, you're like, I gave you permissions and I'm like, don't understand. <laughs> and okay, so we would, we would request people get TweetDeck and we'll manage the scheduled posts through that. And that, yeah, and you can also manage like like I think Katie was saying, instead of everyone using the same account, we just add people with permissions to tweet as um, chaos. So like I so you're a pending request, so I've made you an admin. So when you go into the Twitterverse somewhere, okay. and, and that, that is the <laughs> that's the fun part. Um, uh, you should be able to then go in and add an account and that you do by link another account you own. Uh, all right, I don't know if that works. Okay, I don't know. That might not be the way to do it. I don't know how. To, so I've sent you the you can now act as chaos thing to your Twitter account, Elizabeth. Okay, okay. I guess just I keep fight. track of what happens next because I I remember being super confused about all this the first time I went through it. And now it's set up in TweetDeck, so it just works, but it took me a while to figure it all out. Okay, that makes sense. I had no idea you guys were using this, so <laughs> that's Georg, amazing. Yeah, Georg set it up, and I think um, I think it's a smart way to do it, as Katie pointed out, and I had honestly forgotten that we had that step. So okay, so this actually solves a lot. So we can add whoever wants mm -hmm. to be a part of that kind of team to help like pipeline, you know, fill that mm -hmm. pipeline of tweets yep. from badging or from other areas of the of the project. And then um yes, okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. That's awesome. Okay, I'll stop sharing as my tweet deck is. I heard Gary. I have used TweetDeck one time, and the other time I particularly tweeted from a different account. I had to go delete it. <clears throat> it can be a lot of chaotic. So I was also like, I think another thing that was on the agenda was um, I could reach out like to like two conferences that are newer open source conferences. Um, to apply for um, a badge, um, all things open and Django Con. Um, yeah, I could reach out. Um, and that's, that was the reason I was asking about the badging email, Elizabeth. And I think uh, Matt was going to connect us to that. So yeah, I would try to... <coughs> So I think uh, I think that's um, who put in the badging bot update. I don't think enough is here. Elizabeth, oh, I, I did add that um, I guess I wasn't sure if if updates had been um, he'd been giving updates. Um, I did meet with him earlier this or yesterday, I guess, 
what day is this wednesday yeah yesterday uh, what day is it? um no. yeah i don't i don't know Sounds um good. and i just was gonna tell every everyone but it looks like he's been providing updates so um yeah it's moving along great it's gonna be amazing and he's already setting it up so that other people can contribute and it will be fully tested in a staging environment nothing's gonna break um, and he's setting up the, what's so awesome about what he's doing is he's setting the groundwork so that the bot can be expanded to do a lot of other things that maybe not even are related to badging, but it could just be more of a central chaos bot. So, um, do some maintenance on things, but, um, really fantastic work. I just want to give him a shout out and, um, yeah, so it'll be great. And it will eventually assign reviewers. It will close the issues and hopefully we'll be able to take that, those applications and open those issues as well. So yay. That was my update. Uh, Enix update, not mine. <laughs> great. I'm also excited about that. Um, the last meeting, you know, give us like a very, a very good update to, um, to, yeah. Um, I think that's the last thing on the agenda. Does anyone have any other item we want to go over, discuss? Okay, it's going. Okay. Um, I think we have... <coughs> So thank you everyone for attending the badging meeting today. We'll see you all next two weeks. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.